Hey everybody, welcome to the Pro Tip. I'm Aaron. Today's Pro Tip comes to us from Seamus here in the sales department. The tip, learn how to assign and manage service checks via host groups. Now, why would you use host groups to assign checks rather than individually per host? Well, one benefit is being able to manage checks for all group members at once. If you have a bunch of Windows servers and you want to change a threshold for all of them, you only have to change one check. Additionally, it can make configuring new hosts faster, whether you're using the CCM, the API, or even a configuration wizard. Assigning a service check through host groups is as simple as opening the service in the CCM and adding the host group to the service. For those of you who might like to have hosts in multiple host groups, you should know that you can run into a situation where there is some overlap. For example, if multiple host groups applied to a host have a CPU check, only one of those CPU checks is actually going to run. Here's an example use case. We have a customer with two host groups, Windows servers and SQL servers. Now in this case, all SQL servers are also Windows servers and both host groups have a CPU check, but with different thresholds. The user wants to make sure that the SQL server host group CPU check runs only for the SQL servers. Now, I'm not going to go into how Nagios decides for you if you don't choose, but I will show you how to ensure which one gets run. We're going to negate the check that you don't want to run. So open the service that you don't want to have running, click on manage host groups, add the host groups you don't want it to run on, and then click the box next to the exclamation point for these hosts. Bada bing, it's that simple. Now the official Nagios term for how this stuff works is host group inheritance. And if you want the full rundown on how host group inheritance works, I definitely recommend the tutorial video linked in the description below. Do you have a pro tip? Would you like a pro tip? Let us know in the section below. And don't forget to subscribe so that every time we put up a new pro tip, you're sure to get it.